Hey everyone, this is Cloud Deter here with a tutorial on how to use Titanium Backup. So, Titanium Backup is basically an app used to backup all your applications that you've installed on your device and the application data. So, for example, this could be a game with game saves on your device so for example Angry Birds which when you progress through the game as you go through levels so if you were to uninstall that app and reinstall it then you'd lose all your game progress but with Titanium Backup you can back up the application data which includes game saves so first of all I'm gonna go into the application Titanium Backup and you'll need super user rights for titanium backup so just click grant and then you'll come up with this interface so this button here this tab has all your applications and stuff on your device so this is system applications user installed applications and there's also your backups at the bottom so first of all to use titanium backup mainly we're just going to be using this button up here so this is the batch actions button and you come up with a list of options here so these options here are for backing up your apps So if you have a look at this back up all user apps back up all system data and you have a few more options here you can just pause the video and have a look but the one that we're going to be using is backing up all your user apps so in order to start that you just click run just get it to tap there and it will show all the apps that you have installed and you can choose which ones you actually want to back up and which ones you don't want to and so there will be all these check boxes here so I'm just going to uncheck some of the apps that I don't want to back up and then to start the backup process you just click the little tick button here and sorry about the blur it's just because the screen's dark and then it'll start the backup process which will take a bit of a while so basically you just leave your device and it just backs up by itself so I'm gonna skip this process and uh, after it's done I'll start recording again okay so when it's done you'll get a little notification at the bottom saying titanium backup is finished backing up so you can just get rid of that and I'll show you a few of the other options that the batch actions has so if you scroll further down you have options for restoring so this is usually after you uninstall an app or you upgrade your firmware so you have an option for restore missing apps with data restore all apps with data and some other options that you don't really need to use so the one that we'll mainly be using is restoring all apps with data or restoring missing apps with data so if you see here on the right side there's actually the number of apps which this action includes and you can just click run on restore missing apps with data so this is an app that I had installed earlier but I decided to uninstall it just for the sake of this tutorial and you have some options up the top here so 
you can actually choose to restore the app and the data or you can choose to uh, restore the app only so this won't include the app data so say you have you're restoring a game and you don't want to restore the game progress then it won't restore that or you have data only so this is usually when you have the app already installed but you just want to restore the data from a previous backup so this would be like a, say you just re-downloaded a game off the play store and you want to restore your game progress then you choose data only so for this one I'm just going to choose app and data and then it will restore it for us and for each application that you want to restore you actually have to click install and it will install it and after it finishes installing it then it will actually restore the app data and finish just like that so if you're actually restoring a large amount of apps you do actually have to click install and done for each of them so it is a little bit of a painful process but it's worth it in the end if you have a lot of apps that you don't really want to download again from the play store or you don't want to lose your app data so one last thing that I should mention is that it's not really recommended to back up the system data so this includes system apps because usually when you restore them with different newer versions of the firmware then it can cause problems so it's best only to back up user apps and so this is just a basic tutorial on how to use titanium backup and I hope you liked it and see you around.